Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing an item that was sent to me for review. Uh, it is the Boogie Board Blackboard Smart Note Set. So this is the note size blackboard uh, from Boogie Board and the smart pen that goes along with this system. A little while ago I did an unboxing of this and I had uh, just started to get to know the product, literally as I was opening it. Um, so I will link to that below um, because it shows sort of what you get and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I also put the app onto my iPad which I've trans I've now been using it on my phone because it's a little bit more convenient uh, in terms of making this an I carry item um, and so I will I'm going to talk about how I use it um, show some of the features all of that kind of thing there's a lot to cover so I'm going to try and be as relatively brief uh, as possible uh, and on then I'll talk about some pros and cons and that sort of stuff so, first thing I want to say is that, as I said, this was sent to me for a review, but here in Australia, this uh, item and a range of the Boogie Board items, including like their, yeah, their smart writing pads, are available through Officeworks, um, which is really great. Availability is always a plus in my book. Um, let, I want to talk about things like the dimensions and stuff and the price first up so that we can then get running into what it is and how it's used. The size of this is 23 centimetres by 15 and a half centimetres by about a centimetre deep, uh, which is, you know, kind of good. Like, it's a good size. It's about A5 size, and it's all, the screen's a little bit smaller, uh, about 13.9 by about 18.5 centimetres. So, you know, you've got a decent sort of writing space. It weighs about 295 grams, so just under 300 grams. So it's not super heavy, good compact size. Um, the pen itself, uh, this is the smart pen, this, the, also there came just a writing stylus pen that came with this which uh, um, sits as a magnet, magnetised in the little dock here at the bottom uh, and that's great, uh, and I'll get onto that in a second as well because it's a cool little feature, uh, but this is the smart pen, so this is the pen that uh, you charge up using a mini USB port thing there, uh, as you can see and uh, just, you know, recharges via USB, and then it syncs to your device. As I said, I've got it on my phone. Please, in this video, please excuse the cracked screen cover. It's just the protective screen. I'd rather have that chip than the screen, and um, to be perfectly honest, I sort of can't be bothered changing it. Um, so, but it syncs to your smart device like your phone, and I'll be showing a few things on there a little bit later. The pen uh, weighs 21 grams, 16 in the body, 5 in the cap, so, you know, sort of nice sort of size and weight. It's 160 centimeters in this form, 150 when you write with it, although it does post, and it posts to about 176. The way you hold it, it's about 10 uh, millimeters. So it's sort of a good size pen and a nice weight, um, and it's sort of relatively comfortable to use. Just getting used to writing with it can be a little bit strange because it's this sort of like plasticky, I wouldn't even call it a nib, I don't even know what to call that. And then the sensor is of course, in there which reads what you're writing. So the price of this set in Australia uh, is about 229 Australian dollars. It's about 165 uh, US um, uh, through US retailers uh, and that is this set with the pen. Um, there is a bigger version, the letter size, which is slightly bigger as I said, which retails for about $10 more. So 239 or Australian or 175 US. Um, it's a fairly simple system in a lot of ways but it's effective and it does what it's supposed to do. So let's talk about what it actually is. So firstly, it's a plastic tablet with a sort of protective cover over it that you open up and it reveals the writing surface which I showed you before. It's got a blue sort of tinge to it, but that is actually a sheet, which I'll slide it down because I hate taking this cover off, um, which you can take out and replace uh, if you wanted to with other templates and things like that. Um, the carbon version, which is the smart pen version, does however rely on having this symbol there in the corner. And one thing I've done, just as a side note, is like if my daughter and I are, you know, playing Yahtzee or something like that that requires a score sheet, I have tucked the sheet into here and we've just written on this surface to say writing on the sheets over to, and wasting them. Um, so we get a, you know, a, a, you know, a digital, because you can see through this, which also makes it great for things like tracing, if that is what you are into. 
It's got these buttons at the top. That is the erase button, which unfortunately does not work with the smart pen. That is for the simple other stylus. Um, if you want to see reviews with that, you can see them also on YouTube. But basically what you do is with the other pen is once you're writing, if you make a mistake, you can hold down that button and then write over it and you know it erases. This main button is basically the refresh button for the screen. So if you've written, as you can see there, like I'm writing on the surface of the tablet there, it's coming up as like fluoro greeny yellow, and I can hit that, boom, and it erases, which is great. And then you've got a lock uh, screen button as well, if you don't want to erase. So that is the basic of the actual device itself. It is what it is. It's a simple thing. So what do you do? So as I said, you write on this surface. You can write whatever you want. And then this smart pen reads it. And if I then hit, I'm just for the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna hit that button or that point down there and it reads it and that's gonna save it. And the pen has some internal memory. So next time I sync it to my phone, hopefully if the system is working, it'll go over to the phone. There are a couple of ways you can transfer and these are both done through the phone by syncing the pen to the app or using the camera on your phone to scan this screen. And it will read this and then convert it into the document that you require. Much like smartphones use the, the camera to scan you know, documents, like if you wanted to scan receipts and things like that, and that you can set the boundaries and scan it over. So let's now do like a basic demonstration of how this can sort of work. I'm gonna move this over here. And as I said, please excuse uh, my cracked phone screen. Here is, my phone and when I take the cap off it turns on the pen which is nice it's a nice simple way of turning on no buttons nothing required you can see down here it's starting to sync with the app and it's now synced it shows me the battery and then as you can see actually it stored that um, the cat's out on the mat on the pen on the on the pen and has now synced it to my device really simple so I can draw away to my heart's content you know I can be planning things in a meeting whatever I need to do and I hit that button down there and then we get the version of it over here on the app super simple super easy um, it's a really simple e easy method for this and it saves a lot of paper because for me I think the greatest way that I would use this device uh, and the way I have been using this device is I brainstorming. So something I've been doing recently is writing lyrics. And so I like to write by hand, but writing lyrics by hand can be, uh, you know, I mean like creating lyrics, you're changing things all the time. Um, you know, uh, once again, I'll just use the cat sat on the mat. As an example, go, oh no, I don't like that. I want the cat sat in the mat or with the mat or whatever the case may be. I can make those edits, I can do all that, and it's easy. And I hit the button and it transfers over, and it's now there on my phone. Um, if I'm in a, you know, or if I was brainstorming design ideas, you know, for as I think I said in the unboxing video for a product, and it's got to be a cube, um, you know, and it's got to have, um, you know, white borders uh, and oh just got an email <laughs> part of the fun of having my actual phone as the uh, as a prop here um, you know all these kinds of things you can say dimensions of it have got to be 15 by 15 um, whatever the case may be you know like um, I want the underside to be solid the top to be you know a mesh and I can be brainstorming all of this and taking notes and um, you know have my questions about it you know, down here and what's it going to cost and all those kinds of things. It's all there on the page. And I go, okay, right, done with that. It's on the phone. Simple as that. It's all synced up. Now, if your phone, your phone doesn't have to be on for that syncing to work as long as it is synced up. Now, if it's not synced up, as I said, there is memory in the pen so that when you do sync it up, your a few pages of your information will be cast over. So if we've had that example there, now I want to show you some of the things that can happen in the app. So we've got that document there. There's the ability uh, to show some info about it, you know, when it was created, all that kind of thing, to share it, to add images, to edit, or to delete, of course. Um, 
Editing is basic, simple things. Um, so you can draw on it, you can enhance the image. One of my favorite features of this is uh, changing the line width. So you can actually get quite a fine uh, line width sort of for detail there. Um, it's good. Uh, and it's a fairly accurate representation of what you put on the tablet. There have been a few occasions where um, it hasn't quite worked to that degree, and I sometimes find that with uh, drawing and such. Uh, it's not the easiest sort of method for that. Something I would love for this to uh, incorporate more easily is recognition of handwriting. Um, and I think uh, you can do that on Apple devices with iOS 15 by saving the image. Once again, if you go share, um, I won't do that because it shows some of my personal contacts and things like that but it gives you the option to save it uh, or to email it and things like that. Uh, and you can save it to your camera roll and then Apple iOS 15 can read the handwriting in any image. You can copy it, paste it into a document, edit it, whatever the case may be. It's a really simple, handy way of, of doing it. Um, so this system is not the only system like this sort of going around on the market. There are other uh, kind of you know handwriting tablets and of course you may ask why would you use something like this when you can use an iPad with an Apple Pencil and those kinds of things and that's a very very valid question. For me I like having a dedicated writing device. Um, I don't want to have to carry my iPad everywhere. I use my iPad for music primarily uh, and for things like a little bit of photo editing and that kind of thing. This is a dedicated writing tablet but also where this is really handy is the fact that once you have written the screen is always, it's always there on your screen. Um, you know, you can have your to-do list. Or and uh, if you don't want it to be like, you could accidentally erase this by hitting the button. If you don't want it to be erased, you can lock the screen, as I said, and um, it won't erase. Uh, you can still edit it, but yeah, it's not erasing. So it's a really cool way of having your, uh, your, things like your to-do lists and such on hand. Great to have on your desk. Amazing to have on your desk. You know, if you're taking notes throughout the day, if you've got your to-do list, um, really, it kind of, for me, replaces note paper uh, in both that form of things like, as I said, note-taking in meetings on, on the phone, um, you know, dealing with, um, you know, agents and contracts and things like that. Just taking simple notes or having a list of questions you want to ask. Simple, simple method for that. Uh, and then you can transfer it, as I said, save it onto your phone or scan it onto your phone like that image, which works perfectly fine as well. Once again, you can edit those images, fixing contrast and things like that uh, in the app itself. That's a lot of information about this system. The, uh, oh, I should also say, there is a website you can use. Um, just, you can Google it. I'm not endorsing this website. Um, where you can sync uh, your, through Bluetooth, the pen and the tablet here, to the website and uh, use this as a graphics tablet if that's what you decide to do as well. So that's also something um, that is easy to fix or to, to do. So I wanna talk about uh, some pros and cons. It's hard to get fine details in the writing. It's a weird, it's a bit of a weird screen to write on actually. Um, it's gla slightly glassy, but not as glassy as like an iPad with the Apple Pencil or anything like that. It, but it's definitely not like writing on paper. There are certain things you can do within the app to adjust the pen and the writing on the screen, and line width and things like that. Uh, but it's hard to get those fine details because anywhere you touch, you do get, you know, the marker of that. Um, another couple of things I don't like, uh, the fact that the pen is very plasticky, like this clip feels very fragile and it's a, it's a flimsy, not flimsy plastic, but it's a very plasticky. Um, I would love to see a more deluxe version of this pen uh, sort of come out. Now, there's also um, the issue that you could use another system like an iPad or one of the Moleskin writing systems or something like that. Um, as I've used this for note taking and ideas, you know, I often don't need to keep my notes permanently. I don't need to keep all those things on hand. So this, something like this is a really good, uh, simple method for that. And also its size makes it, you know, fairly decent sort of size and weight, I should say, make it a fairly decent carry item uh, if you're, you know, traveling to meetings and things like that regularly. So let's talk about uh, some of the pros. Okay, so I mentioned this magnetic strip here with the other pen. Unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, with this pen, but also you've got magnetic strips here on 
the back. Um, so this is actually be one of those things that would be really great for, you know, your, let's call it a blackboard, you know, mounting it on a wall or putting it on a whiteboard or something like that and having this system there always. Um, and especially if you have the larger version, you know, being able to share that really handy. Um, I think it's got a durable case and it's also a protective case and it stops the screen getting too many extra prints on it as you're carrying it. Um, having those template system in the back is a big pro. Um, I think it's a fairly decent representation on the uh, app. Though. So let's get it actually really going so you can see just how accurate we can get this. So once again, another notification. Okay, so it's syncing there, which is excellent. Once it's, there we go. Okay, it's all synced up. So I will just do, um, let's do something really simple. Three lines. Three lines down. A, B, C. And uh, just... Okay, so I've done a fairly simple page there. Let's now look at it on the screens next to each other. Okay, so you can see there that uh, where I put the A and the C slightly outside of those three uh, vertical lines, it's appeared in the same place. The scribble is almost the same. Um, it's a little bit uh, narrower perhaps, uh, and that scribble at the top is fairly accurate, I think. Like, it's a fairly accurate representation. If we're talking about writing notes and needing the information within the notes, what you're going to get over here is a good representation. I really love the fact that the pen has memory built in. It means you don't have to have it synced to your device all the time. Um, in fact, if you are taking notes in a meeting, you can hit that, you know, that carbon copy button down the bottom, keep going, get a few pages of notes done, and then... When you get back to your office, simply plug it all together or sync it up and it's all there. You can edit it, as I said, share those notes. I particularly think this is, for, I think this is really great for brainstorming ideas or design and that kind of stuff. For me, that is its strength um, because it's simple to transfer over and then share that image. And you can also, in the app, I didn't show it, but you can trace it back. So you can decide where in the, in the writing of it you actually want the image to be when you store it on your phone. I think the, uh, the, Availability of this in Australia through Officeworks is a really big plus um, and I think that the uh, ease of charging this via USB onto your computer makes this pen um, a real plus. Uh, I like the fact that it doesn't waste paper and I like the size. Really simple pros there. Lots of strengths with an item like this. Yes, there are negatives. We didn't touch on privacy, who, where that information goes when you save it to the app. But if you're considering that, when you do all of this, then um, I think this is a product that could work for you. So for note taking, for design, for drawing, those kinds of basics, this is a really nice product uh, that is a simple way of taking handwritten notes, not on something like an iPad or a Surface or something like that, and having them stored on your phone uh, for ease of access, phone, iPad, computer, whatever it may be, for ease of access at a later date. So I hope you find this uh, found this video interesting and useful. Um, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button, all of that kind of stuff. And you can get in touch with me using any of the platforms or my email, which is listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, either in the stationary world or the sort of the EDC stationary techie kind of world, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got something uh, you'd, uh, if you'd like to support my channel, please get in touch. In the meantime, enjoy. Uh, your products. Thank you for watching this video about the Boogie Board Blackboard Smart Note Pen Set, and I'll talk to you later.